Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That'll be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for coming by my channel and listening to my video today. And to my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Much love and light. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light again. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you so much for the love and support. It's always for taking the time out to come see what about my video today. Today I'm listening to super intelligent music to improve memory and concentration, memory and focus music. I will post that link in the description box below. My video is about Twin Flame 101. Hail, because wipe out all the negative energy. Walk out, wipe, wipe it out. Like, I'm like, walk it out too if you have to. Just walk it out. And, you know, the way I do it, <clears throat> and sometimes it can seem hard as I don't know what not. I'm, I can feel you. I'm on that level with you. Because sometimes it can make it to the point where you want to pull your hair out. And I understand that. But it's just the most things, you know, when we're always being tested every day, we get tested. We can sit up here and say, oh, I'm the strongest person, this and this and that. Ain't nothing going to faze me. And boom, the next thing you know, there'll be something that's put in your life to where it'll make you question your faith, where it'll question your strength, on how, and your patience, and all those bad things into it. But it's just the point. Everything happens to just, just give us strength inside you know there may be things that we need to change about ourselves that we really weren't paying attention to before you know things might pop into our lives and we're just like you know not again or what's the worst that can happen you know friday the 13th just passed and i always love friday the 13th you know i love the movies and you know it used to creep me out because sometimes you know i liked it but then i was just like you know what if i don't have to go anywhere i'm not going you know because i'm just thinking no, i don't want anything bad to happen to me but then it's just like the most things lately that when Friday the 13th, I always had good luck for some odd reason. And it, it's just, you know, things happen for a reason. And it's just we have to look at them for, you know, we always have to look at the positive situation. It could be a blessing because it's just like, you know, you could be going for a job and you really wanted that job. And the next thing you know, you didn't get the job. And then a couple of weeks later, either the building probably don't, you know, tore down. I mean, you know, some, something happened to the building or something happened to the stocks and the job and people start losing their jobs left and right. And, you know, you have to think about things like that because a lot of times when we're redirected from the things that we want, there's always something out there that's better for us. So you have to basically just wipe out that negativity, wipe out the negative thinking. And I know that it's hard to do, especially if you are a, a person that overthinks a lot because, you know, negative situations, memories and stuff that has to pop up in your head. And like I say, a lot of times it's like the way I do it is when a negative negative energy I mean not negative energy but a negative like memory comes back when it comes to a certain person or a certain feeling that I have I always try to think about the most thing that I want the most like when when you know you're on your mission to do something and it's just like you'll you'll have something that'll pop up in your head you're already probably in a bad mood and sometimes it's hard to get out that funk <laughs> I realize that but when I do it it's just like I think about the things that I'm wanting more in life you know think you know I try to put my focus on something that that is more promising to me because it's just like when when it comes to situations sometimes situations cannot be changed people number one cannot be changed only you can change you, you can't change the people around you you might be able to change their way of thinking about certain things if they're open-minded to things if you're you know you're trying to make a point about something but it's just like you can't control everything around you 
you only control your emotions, how you react to things, how you respond to things. You know, just like with my situation when, you know, I had my, my situation with my adopted father. It was just a point he was trying to trigger off something like he really wanted me to say something. Somebody probably told him something. And he was hoping I would have said something that would have been negative. But I wasn't allowing that to happen. And, you know, I just, you know, said what I had to say and was very polite about it and got off the phone. Even though I felt some type of way, you know, I didn't allow him to put me in that situation. So when I started feeling that certain type of way, I started thinking more about, you know, the good memories I've had, you know, with different people. I don't even put myself, associate myself in that situation anymore. But when it comes up, I just put it in a balloon and just let it go. And sometimes it's hard to do that, you know, especially if somebody has really did some traumatizing stuff to you. You know, it can be really hard to do that. But it's just that fact is you can you have to take your power back from that situation because it's just like with me, I had to take my power back. I was like, there's no way in hell <laughs> I'm allowing somebody to have control over my, my thoughts, my emotions. I'm not going to allow that. You know, when it comes to people like that, especially when it comes to your family members, try to avoid them as much as possible, especially if you already know they're they're negative anyway, or they try to always belittle you or something. Try to, you know, eliminate that. If they live in the household with you, try to have as much as less communication as possible if you can get away. So, you know, try to take a lot, you know, uh, salt. What, what is it? Sea salt, vinegar, and water. You add that in, into your your room if you have rugs put you know salt on your rugs and let it marinate there for an hour and suck it up when especially when it comes around your household and stuff like that I always try to make sure my household is cleansed with a lot of different energies because when we're especially when you're working outside of the home and you, you can you attract so many them you know different energies throughout the day you can attract you know good ones you can attract bad ones and then you're bringing these home with you so, you know, and it's really bad if you're staying in a hotel because then you have to worry about the, you know, the energy, the people left in those rooms. And it's just like when you travel, always try to make sure that you take vinegar if you can. Vinegar, salt, um, yeah, just vinegar and salt. And that's all you really need, sea salt with you, when, especially when you travel, you know, so you can be able to soak up that energy that's in the room because it's just like you're laying in their energy. <laughs> and I never thought about it that way until I saw a video about it. I was like, wow, I never thought about that because it's just different people have different things attached to them. And, you know, you can have people that are, you know, coming to visit you at your house and bringing stuff with you too. So it's just like you always got to make sure you keep your, your space cleansed, you know, just keep it open from negativity and stuff like that keep it away from negativity not open to negativity but away from it and that's all i really have for you today i hope you resonated with my videos i will keep you in my prayers and i hope you definitely keep you keep in yours like and subscribe if you have not already drop me a line or two it'll greatly be appreciated and even like and even share that will also be uh, appreciated too and i will see you on my next video be safe Stay blessed and now much love and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Wow.